The David Brown Tractor Club Museum Open Day, 15th of August 2021, 10 o'clock while 3 o'clock. Up front is the David Brown 990, built in 1968. Trailing along behind is the David Brown 880 3 cylinder built in 1966. Top speed going uphill around 10 miles an hour. Top speed downhill with a tailwind around 25 miles an hour. When we're out on the road, uh, we've got a huge expensive stuff. So we're filling them open. 15 in each. 15 in a penny. 15 in a penny. I offer 15. Not like that. Not that from your way. <laughs> Double time today, anyway. <laughs> Here comes the visiting road run. They have travelled from Denshaw over the hill. There's a numerous mix of tractors, mainly David Browns, but uh, we did have to let the odd Ferguson, Ford, and Nuffield, including a Kubota, onto the museum site. All were very welcome, and it was great to see them on the day. welcomed quite a few extremely large modern John Deere tractors. We were slightly concerned they weren't going to fit around the museum complex. The expert drivers navigated them through and into the back display field. The lovely 
Sir David Brown, 880 in Plumatic. Collection of Phil Croshaw's lovely later model David Browns. The David Brown 900. An imposter. A Fordson Major six cylinder. Sounds lovely. This is Alan Brown, David Brown's grandson, along with Sarah Crabtree from Bangers and Cash. The winner goes to a good turnout at the museum in the foreground, Tom Pepper. An action shot keeping an eye on the young ones on my tractors. Time for the trip home. <laughs> a huge thank you to Brittany Kirkham Goff for being our expert camera woman for the day. This video co stars Kieran Youngboy Davis. Thank you for your expert tractor driving skills. <laughs>